Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com, and we're going to talk about yet another way to fix a generalized anterior crossbite in phase one. Phase one, of course, means that you have permanent teeth here and baby teeth here. So we're talking about at age seven, eight, nine, possibly 10, pushing it. This needs to be done very early. First, you're gonna do your phase one braces, your expansion if you need it. Then you need to diagnose. You need to see what, what is the cause of this negative overjet or these anterior collisions. If it's just the inclination of the incisors, if there's no skeletal uh, malformation, like if you are looking at the SAF and you notice that your SNA and your SNB and your ANB are normal, then it's okay to do this if you do have um, you know, some type of contacts or interferences here. Also, if your upper incisors are upright, you can do this. If your upper incisors are flared, you cannot do this. If you have a small SNA, do not do this. Instead, you do your expansion and face mask. So how you fix an anterior crossbite in a phase one patient depends on what the diagnosis is. So this is only a fix in certain scenarios. All you're gonna do is get into your heavy wire, compress some really heavy open coil springs on the sides. I know these aren't super compressed, it's just a illustration. Um, your wire should be filling the slot, so at least 1825, um, in 022 slot and at least 1725 in 018 slot. Your coils need to be nigh tie. They cannot be stainless steel. You have to compress them pretty good and you have to keep a very close eye on this patient. You cannot forget this patient. If you put this in, you must see this patient every three to four weeks. You must. And if they no show an appointment, you better be knocking on their door, send in certified letters because if you push the teeth through the bone, and I have seen this done when someone forgets a patient and they disappear during COVID or whatever else, this stuff happened. Um, I've seen it a lot of times. You can really damage their teeth. This is a very active uh, mechanic here. That means if it goes too far, it will do damage. But it really works really well, and it's an easy fix if you have that random interference in the right kind of patient. All right, thanks so much.